Hello everybody, it's TechTipster here updating you on the latest RetroPie image which is the 3.0 Beta. This is available right now from Pet Rock Blog and you can download and install this just like we did on 2.6. So what's new on the 3.0 Beta? Well, you could go over to the website and read the changelog, but that's no fun, so watch on and I'll give you a quick walkthrough. First of all, my favourite feature, which is not the most exciting, it's this new RetroPie menu available from Emulation Station. Now you could actually enable this in 2.6, but it wasn't there by default. What this does is save you typing all those annoying commands on the keyboard and give you access to all the setup options we need like Raspberry Config, RetroPie Setup and even your IP settings straight from the Emulation Station menu. Unfortunately we still need a keyboard to navigate these menus, but it does simplify things quite a lot and is a welcome change. The second usability option is that we now have the ability to choose our default emulator when launching a game. If you remember back to the 2.6 days there were multiple emulators bundled for each system and to use each of them would place our ROMs in a different ROM folder. Well that is no longer and we can now press X upon booting of a ROM and be presented with this fancy menu which will allow us to configure our default emulator, our default emulator per ROM and so on. You can also specify certain configurations per ROM which is pretty cool and will definitely help simplify things. A small but handy feature is also the ability to quickly restart emulation station so your new ROMs are scanned by the front end. Simply press F4 once and if you don't push any other keys, emulation station will reboot. We can also achieve this by restarting the whole system but this is a lot quicker and nicer and if you press any key during this process we will go straight to the terminal instead. Now the less exciting stuff, a lot of the config files have been moved to our default configs folder in slash opt retropie configs to try and simplify things. This is welcome as it could be a little confusing to new users trying to understand how each emulator worked in 2.6. We also have the ability to back up our configuration files onto USB when we connect one to the system. This is not enabled by default but can be easily switched on by going to retropie setup. Advanced MAME has also been updated and I'm curious to see how this now performs and seeing what games are compatible with it. And I'm sure quite a few of you would be interested in that too so we may look into that soon. Overall, 3.0 is a great update to RetroPie. But now the big question, should you update? Well, my recommendation is not just yet. There are still a few bugs to be worked out and while they are minor, they could be frustrating. Just be happy that this will arrive soon and we will have something to look forward to for the time being. Thanks again for watching guys, make sure you like and comment and subscribe to my channel for all your RetroPie news.